And we're back out here at Lincoln College. Lincoln College has been providing students the best educational experience possible since 1865 and with tuition lowered for the 2012-2013 school year, Lincoln College is more affordable than ever. Illinois' only private two-year residential campus, you'll find a supportive approach from faculty and staff as you earn your associate's degree in liberal arts along with athletic and fine arts programs. Lincoln College is now offering dual enrollment classes to students through Lincoln Community High School. Just talk with your high school counselor for more information and get a jump start on your future. Be part of Lincoln College Legacy. Phone 217-732-3155 or go online to lincolncollege.edu to meet with an advisor and schedule a tour today. Josh Komnick along with the furniture guy Jake Johnson. And uh, Jake, we've got uh, almost royal, I mean royalty if you think in the college ranks. Two national champions already. He's reminding us by the bling That's on the right bling. hand. Yeah. He, he's got he's got the bling of uh, Where's yours? Of royalty. I've got, I've oh, got you, I see your wedding. Right? I see your wedding bling. That's but, all I uh, need. Coach Kirk Whiteman in uh, in here at the admissions <laughs> building on Lincoln College campus. And coach, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. It's always nice to hear nice words. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a lot of that when you're uh, you. I believe what third your first year and uh, two national champions to follow. Yeah, and uh, bet you know how how the coaching business is. Just look at Coach Weber after his, uh, yeah. you know, second place finish. So, what are you talking about? I mean, they're having a they're having a good year. He's Jake is now all positive I'm about all the Illinois. Nothing positive. Nothing, be positive. nothing more. Be positive. <laughs> Coach, and that's uh, definitely what Coach Kirk Whiteman is as uh, positive as it gets, uh, especially to his teams here out at Lincoln College. Uh, Coach, a uh, great <coughs> three years uh, and and another fourth uh, going on right now. Uh, talk a little bit about your season this year. What has uh, surprised you? you? You know, coming off two national champions, you've got the player of the year in Division II junior college basketball headed out to Florida State. Uh, coming into the season, all this, uh, a great record now, 19-5, and 5-1 and one in the conference. Um, uh, what do you have left? And, uh, you know, give us an overall a coach's perspective of your season so far. You know, uh, Obviously, we're happy where we're at right now. You always want to be in the hunt for the conference championship, first of all, and try to get a good seed for our region tournament, which mm -hmm. we're, you know, if we went out, we control our destiny. As a coach, you always want to be able to do that. Uh, you know, 5-1 and one in the conference, and uh, we got a lot of road games coming up, though, yeah. on the road against good teams. So that's going to be a little bit of adversity for us, and it's really going to challenge our team to see what we're going to be able to do here in the region tournament and if we get a chance to go to the national tournament again. So... We have a great opportunity in front of us. We just need to be able to close it out. Um, you know, the success we had the last couple of years, totally different team. And, you know, I think with success you're able to uh, bring in some pretty sure. good talent. We are able to do that this year. I mean, if you kind of look at us individually, 6'10", 6'9", 6'6", swingman. Uh, we got a couple guards back from last year, actually three of them, that uh, have been with the program for a year, so they understand what's happening. I mean, position for position, if you were just to line us up and play street ball and, and, and pick teams, uh, I'd say you'd pick about everybody on this team over, you know, last year's team, except for maybe the, the seven-footer, you mm -hmm, know, Florida sure. State. So, you know, is the talent's there, but as we all know, it's just not talent that wins games. And that's something our teams the last couple of years had was the toughness and could battle adversity, would play hard down the stretch, kept their composure. And so those are things that we're challenging our kids here down the stretch to be able to do, you know, play, play tough. You know, make sure you get that offensive rebound, pick up a charge late in the game. So uh, I think these road games are really going to challenge us and see what we're made of down the stretch. Coach, you talk about experience coming back um, from the, the championship last year. How much has that helped these guys, not only uh, being in the, the tournament atmosphere but also saying hey man I've, I've got to improve a little bit better because I got beat up a little bit uh, down at the national tournament or I was pretty good but I want to I want to go to the next level where uh, maybe Mr. Turpin went to exactly and you know I think that the, the deal kid uh, Muhammad and Mosley those were the three of the kids that you know played a little bit for us last year and uh, deal played quite a bit uh, those three have kind of been our rock when you know we were up at Illinois Wesleyan you know they have seven players those kids just flat out know how to play they yeah. shot the ball well I mean the first four shots went in were three pointers we're down 12 to 6 before we know it um, we're down 15 in the second half and our guards really just kind of turned it on they turned up the pressure a little bit they used their athleticism created some easy transition buckets for us so you know going down the stretch they say you want to have really good guards and we have those I think the probably the biggest difference between this team and, and the last couple of years has really been post play and yeah 
Uh, we got a kid by the six nine kid by the name of Arthur Gage who's really coming into his own. He redshirted last year. Um, I mean, he had six block shots the other night against Illinois Wesleyan. But we're trying to find and develop a low post score. We got Joe Cooper who might be able to do it at six ten. Um, but right now we haven't. The guards haven't had a lot of confidence to get the ball down there. Uh, Brandon Pullman's been our leading scorer at about almost 20 a game, but we have four other guys in double figures, That's which nice. is I love about my teams the last few years is, you know, I think the last couple of years we've had at least six guys clip over 20 points at mm -hmm. one point during the season, so really can't concentrate on any one person. But the thing down the stretch for us is going to be finding some low post play. That's one thing we've had in the past, and right now we're, we're not getting it. So uh, hopefully we can develop some of that next couple of weeks. I think there's a lot of uh – Coaches at any level need post play. You know, there seems like there's a variety of guards uh, you can get or, or want to get, but it's always finding that 6'9 guy that's an animal or, you know, a guy that can rebound for you, and, and I think there's a lot of people that have that problem. Coach, you've got some tough ones coming up. As you said, you travel to John Wood. That's over in Quincy, Illinois. So we'll be um, playing pretty close to each other uh, today, the Railers and the Lynx. Four o'clock, uh, uh, you're five and one in the conference. Another conference game. You talked about how important the conference is, winning those games. But not only are you getting for the conference, as you talked about those uh, the region seeds and and all that stuff coming up is uh, is the ultimate goal. Now after two national champions, it's almost uh, you know I don't hate to put expectations on you, but do you feel that uh, getting the national tournament has got to be your uh, your mo every year? I think so, especially what we have here at Lincoln College. I mean, uh, you know, you have the dorms. We have uh, great faculty here. Uh, we've got a great education, but we can sell to the recruits coming in. So you put us on par with the other schools and with the kids in the dorms and the cafeteria. It's an excellent opportunity to get a two-year degree, mm -hmm. and we've had a lot of success. So, I mean, I think in, when we recruit kids, I mean, our expectations are to be competing at the national level and for a national championship. Coach, uh, you talk about recruiting uh, as uh, we go over your schedule. You've got Parkland coming here on uh, the February 22nd. Actually, which, yeah, we'll be at Parkland. Uh, oh, at Parkland. Yeah, Sorry, at yeah. Parkland. Yeah, that's uh, at Parkland. But then you've got Lincoln Land coming here on the 25th and also St. Louis coming here on the 29th. So, what, two, uh, two home games left? With two home games left, Lincoln Land uh, always very well coached, mm -hmm. and uh, that would be a good game. That's a... Looks like it's a uh, Saturday game, and then the 29th, St. Louis would be sophomore night, uh, 7, 7.30, and, and they were at the national tournament last year. I think they finished fifth, so okay. uh, they have a pretty good coach down there that's uh, you know probably on his way to Hall of Fame here in a few years. So two home games left. We know we've had great support, I know, from the students, and uh, community's been out in the new facility here. It's a great environment sure. to play in. Yeah, I'd be love to have uh, everybody to support out the links. And, and Coach, uh, I want to get here before we let you go. We know we've got to get uh, – Headed over to Quincy, but how has recruiting been? You've got a brand-new gymnasium, uh, the two national championships, the bling, all that stuff that uh, athletes want to see. Uh, how much has it improved your recruiting? And also, have you been looking at anybody in the Central State Aid area, the area of Logan County, um, all the things that I, I mean, maybe you can't say, but um, you know, to give the fans out there in Logan County the interest of uh, somebody close maybe coming to Lincoln? We do, and I think that's a that's a priority for us. You know, we had the Schoenauer kid uh, mm -hmm. the first year. We had the Farmer kid and Neitzel kid, and uh, I think it's important to have somebody locally. We got we've already had a couple of local kids in on visits here from uh, Lincoln High School, and hopefully can close those deals out when the time comes. Sure. Um, and that's one thing that uh, is really important to us. And as far as getting in on on players, uh, Coach uh, Coach Morris Tanner Morris has been our recruiting coordinator, and. Uh, we've had six or seven kids in on visits, and uh, right now I think he, he sent me a text message last night. You know, one of our recruits had 20 points and 23 rebounds last night. So, uh, you know, I think we're getting in on some kids that uh, you necessarily wouldn't be able to. Um, but then again, too, we got to kind of close out the deals, and at junior college it's kind of sure. hard to uh, – you know, start your recruiting like the other schools when they're freshmen and sophomores. Nobody grows up wanting to be at the junior college. So we got mm -hmm. to kind of identify those kids late, uh, come in and get involved with it. But Coach Morris has done an outstanding job of identifying kids. And this is going to be a big class for us. We'll probably need about 13 scholarships next year. Wow. So, um, you know, it could be one of those reloading years next year. But uh, nonetheless, I think that we have the talent, even as with freshmen next year that we're on right now, to still uh, continue in an upward trend. There, you can't get any higher upward. Well, <laughs> there's, you can always try. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, uh, again, thanks for coming in, and good luck today. We'll, we'll definitely be out to, uh, to watch the links again. The 25th of February, Lincoln Land comes to uh, the new arena, and also the 29th of February, St. Louis, for the last game in the 2012 season. Coach, uh, again, good luck, and uh, we'll be following you all the way through it. Exciting times. Thanks for having me, guys. No problem. Hey, we're going to take another quick commercial break and be back with uh, some LC.
workers here. Gretchen <laughs> Bree will be in uh, will be in attendance to talk about uh, 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 admission here at Lincoln College. You're listening to WLCN 96.3 and WLCNonline.com. Back out here at Lincoln College. They've been here since 1865. Giving them a call at 732-3155. To schedule your private tour and meeting with a professional admissions counselor, you're in the cheap seats. Josh Komnick, uh, the furniture guy, has left us to head to the furniture store. But we do have Gretchen Bree, director of admissions, and also a freshman out here at Lincoln College, Taylor Perry. She is an alum of LCHS and has chosen uh, to further her education here at Lincoln College. Gretchen, first of all, thanks uh, for having us out here, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. And uh, we've got to uh, to get into Taylor here a little bit as she has chosen Lincoln College. And, and Taylor, one, uh, college students don't like to get up early. I'm, cer I'm, I'm certain of that. I was, <laughs> I was there along with you. But, uh, one, thanks for coming in early this morning. Yeah. Uh, also, you chose Lincoln. Um, you're from Lincoln Community High School, from the Lincoln area. What, what were some of the reasons that you would choose Lincoln and, and maybe would want to tell people from Lincoln that, uh, hey, come here get your two years and then you always have a chance to transfer if you're if you're wanting to uh, somewhere after Lincoln College for your four-year degree um me personally I came here because I wasn't ready to leave home mm -hmm. um and it actually turned out being pretty cheap and I like how it's like there's like different buildings so you like get the feel of a bigger school mm -hmm. but it's small sure. so your professors and everybody like they know your name and you're not just a number so it's nice it's like small school but like you feel like it's college college campus yeah different buildings that uh, normal the normal campus of a junior college is all uh, normally under one roof uh, yeah. that kind of thing where you have number of buildings where you've got to do a little time management to get to your class from the cafeteria to uh, the dorm room whether you live in a dorm or you live in the Lincoln area um, and, and you talk about not wanting to you're not ready maybe to leave the nest or, or yeah. go away to to the big school of, yeah. of 30,000 students yeah. and, um, and and coming in what were you looking for out of Lincoln College when you got here uh, you know obviously you want to get your your school work done but also uh, there's a big social factor in college of uh, meeting new people and that kind of thing what what else brought you to Lincoln College uh, you know just trying to make new friends um actually the first semester was kind of hard because I didn't really know anybody because I didn't live here but sure. I actually am a cheerleader here so that really that's pretty much what my weekends consist of now I'm mm -hmm. on campus a lot mm -hmm. with them so it's nice to actually see what goes on outside of class and that kind of thing was that a factor also uh, you know a teacher or a teacher you're, you're <laughs> my, you may be a teacher <laughs> coming up uh, a cheerleader at Lincoln High School uh, you know the, the basketball was huge uh, at, at Lincoln and coming here obviously the basketball is huge here at Lincoln College was that something that uh, also lured you I know they have fine arts and a number of different programs on campus but was that something else that lured you also to Lincoln College yeah I mean I definitely wanted to continue cheering and it was a place for me, you know, I'm not out of my element where sure. I feel like I don't fit in. So it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and meeting new people away from Lincoln, I'm sure some of your friends uh, went on to other schools, maybe the same size, maybe junior college just outside of uh, of Lincoln. Meeting new people, as you said, was, uh, was maybe difficult at the beginning, but now uh, easy transition. I'm sure uh, cheerleading helped through that too. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, you're thinking uh, of helping, uh, you have a friend back at Lincoln Community High School or at Illini Central at Mount Pulaski at Hartsburg, any of the schools in our listening area or in the commuter area here at Lincoln. What's one of the things, maybe some of the things that you would tell them uh, to not only promote Lincoln College, but also to say, hey, I'm, I'm having fun here, I'm getting what I need to get done here, and then I'm, my aspirations of a four-year school will, uh, will come after Lincoln College? Um, I would tell them to definitely consider it. Um it's an opportunity to come, like I said, to a small school, but you'll feel like you're in college. And you could, you know, continue on your athletics if that's something that you wanted to do. And mm -hmm. they have great programs here. I came because of the nursing program. That's okay. what pulled me in, too. Okay. So, so you have, uh, obviously, you want to be a uh, nurse after after college and in your professional career. Where after Lincoln College have you already decided? Are you still looking? Uh, where else are you going to go after Lincoln? 
Um, actually, they just made an agreement with uh, St. Francis College of Nursing in Peoria, mm -hmm. and they take the top five students from Lincoln College, and you're automatically accepted. So you got a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, going for that top five to get into St. Francis, which I'm assuming uh, a lot of people will want to. Yeah, there's quite a few nursing students here. So you've got to get, you're probably going to go study right, probably going to the library right after yeah. this. Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. Hey, Taylor, thanks for coming in. I know Gretchen probably made you come in and, and, <laughs> no. and talk. But, no, you did uh, you did good, and, and hopefully a lot of people follow you from the Lincoln area. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Gretchen Bree, also Director of Admissions here. And, uh, Gretchen, not only thanks for having us in, but you've got some events coming up that's happening, always, always something on the weekends happening at Lincoln College, whether it be students coming on campus to uh, visit, to give tours. Uh, but, you know, talk about some of the, uh, of the events that you have coming up. We do. We actually have a couple things. Um, something in March that we have going on as a preview day that allows students from all over, not just the Lincoln area, but also um, the other students that we recruit as well, to be able to come on campus on a Saturday and get the full effect of the Lincoln College experience. They get to come visit. They get to meet with some faculty. They get to meet with an admissions counselor, tour the campus, see all the facilities, see the great new Lincoln Center that we have. So that is going on on Saturday, March 24th from 10 a.m. to about 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then starting in April, we have our registration days coming up. We call them our SOAR days, um, student, advising, student Orientation Advising and Registration. And our first day for that is Saturday, April 21st. And obviously sure. we try and push students to come early because they – get the best pick of classes so if they're right. not early morning people and they don't want to go to class at 8 a.m you need to sign up for classes early then as so, you or i or i'm sure taylor has zero right. classes at 8 a.m <laughs> that's right uh gretchen also wanted you know you're a, a similar to taylor in that you were from lincoln community high school yes. uh, from the from lincoln uh the town and you chose lincoln college now you're uh, after your uh, and I'll let you talk about that but after your degree at a, at a, a different another institution you're back here at lincoln college Talk about a little bit about one why you chose Lincoln College, and then maybe after where you went, and then maybe your choice to come back to Lincoln College and uh, the reason you came back to work here. Okay, um, yes, like Taylor, I chose Lincoln College because it was close to home. I could still stay at home. I worked um, at that time in Lincoln, so I wanted to be able to continue my little part-time gig that I had mm -hmm. going on. And Spending money. That's right. So I stayed here, went to Lincoln College. Um, at that time, Jack Nutt was the president, and he made a great little deal for me and roped me in and I loved it and I had a wonderful two years here that I wasn't expecting to be honest with you but I did mm -hmm. and uh, then I went on to ISU and got a bachelor's degree in business from there and worked at State Farm for a little bit after ISU well while going to school at ISU and then after that and then decided that you know what I wanted to come back to Lincoln College I loved it here I loved my experience here and I've been here now for nine years so be ten years and in December and I love it I love the people I work with I like working with the students I feel like these college kids help keep me kind of young <laughs> like working on a college campus where I can be in one building to another and sure. so it's been real good to me they've been real good to me give me some of the facts uh, that when a student comes from Lincoln comes from Chicago comes from st. Louis wherever it may be that you use and they're not and, and, and I say that I mean facts uh, of the reasons that uh, people attend Lincoln College I think Taylor hit it on the head when she said she gets to go to college and it's a small school and it's a small environment but it's still like going to college mm -hmm. um, yes we are a junior college but at the same time the setup and the feel is like a four-year university and I think that's attractive to students who aren't ready for that big atmosphere yet they want to go away mm -hmm. they want to live in dorms they want to get that experience and they can do that here Student body, uh, small size. You've talked about the low student to faculty ratio at 15 students to one uh, faculty member. And, and probably some of the main reason of, you know, students come here, obviously get their gen eds out of the way. I'm talking their English, their math before they hit their major, whether it be like Taylor Nursing or it be uh, business or something like that. But one of the big, I would assume, concerns, but it was a concern when I attended junior college is where can I go sure. after my two years? Am I going to be just my two-year associates and then I'm done or, or can I transfer and go give me some of the list uh, it's a huge list uh, of where your students go and but some of the main ones sure um, probably the biggest ones ISU is a huge one mm -hmm. for us we transfer a lot of students to ISU Western um, Northern most of the state schools in Illinois and we work real well with them we've got agreements with them where they accept our credits and we don't usually have 
many issues at all with transferring students there and the credits going with them. Um, out of state, we see students going to Purdue, um, Indiana University, some students going over to Iowa. Mm -hmm. We did just have a student recently graduate from Cornell, and so that's nice. one. Yeah, that's, that was a real big one for cool. us to be able to send a student there. Um, and we've got lots of students now transferring on to the U of I. Um, they might not be able to get that in there as a freshman, and they come here and they do a year or a full two years here, get the associate's degree, and then they're able to get in there um, to finish up their last part of it. So, Talk real quickly before we let you guys go. and. Um about the we, we talked about the dual enrollment program at LCHS. It, it's a yeah. huge thing for not only you at Lincoln College here, but also the students at Lincoln, uh, Lincoln High School that can get started on uh, some classes early while they're still in high school. Talk about, one, what takes place there, and then how big of an advantage it really is for uh, for high school students. It's a huge advantage. Um, right now they are we are offering four classes um, through Lincoln High School, and the students – they just get a head start. It's it's less time that they have that they're going to have to pay a college rate for. These students at, around here are getting it for a, a very good price. They're mm -hmm. getting it for um, a good deal, and they're getting college credit, and they're doing it while they're still in high school. And we've got a lot of students taking advantage of it, and what we're hearing is that we'll have even more students next year that are interested in it. And good want to take advantage of it too so actually we, we are hearing that the numbers next year are, are kind of like wow to us so we've got some work to do to make get sure ready for that wow that's right make yep. it even more of a wow yep and i think we're seeing some of those students roll over as students coming here next year as freshmen sure. too so yeah i think it's a huge advantage for you to for them to get the atmosphere already while in high school and and there maybe lincoln college is on their list of five and maybe that'll seal the deal with uh, yep. taking a few classes here yeah one, re one thing before we let you go, uh, the main reason why a student comes to Lincoln College, number one on Gretchen Bree, when she has a student come here and you're going to seal a deal, give me that number one reason, whether it be from Lincoln or whether it be from, uh, from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, well, I don't know if I can just give you one, but obviously the athletes come here because of the athletic program, so that's se what seals the deal for them. Mm -hmm. But the general students, I would say, come here because they don't want to go to a four-year school yet or they're not ready for the four-year school yet, but we offer a very similar environment to them where they can go away and still get that experience and come to college. Come here and right on the campus of, uh, of Lincoln College. If you've got any questions after you've listened to Taylor, or also listen to the Director of Admissions, Gretchen Bree. Give them a call, 732-3155, or go online, and it'll do uh, the, uh, the Internet. We'll do everything for you, lincolncollege.edu, to meet with an advisor and schedule a tour. Talk to your counselors at high school. Just give them a ring, and they'll, uh, they'll definitely uh, answer any questions that you have. Gretchen, thanks for having us here, and, um, and uh, if, you, if we can do anything here at uh, 96.3, we will. Thanks. Thanks for having us, or thanks for coming out today. No problem. Thanks to Gretchen Bree. Thanks for Taylor Perry stopping in. Also, Coach Neil Alexander and uh, Coach out here at Lincoln College for the men's basketball coach, Kirk Weigman. That's going to do it for us today from the Lincoln College Admissions Building. We will see you next Saturday.